What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Time for Stygian. So, Soul Guard the Martyr and can't gain a shard. Shard's power, Soul Guard the Martyr's abilities. No idea what that actually means, but he comes with the Frostbite cards. And probably the best thing here is it's literally an encamp build hero, which is dope. So, let's depart on our journey, try it on out, and see what he can do. Professor Fellwings and Seraph the Patient again. All right, I, I will take it. I think I think they're just trying to like push the new ones. So, right, what do you have, my friend? Action: Deal three damage per shard to the front enemy unit. So does shard decay? So if I can't, <clears throat> any any spell I cast, I'm going to gain a shard. So basically, every spell I cast, I'm going to deal three damage the front enemy unit or revenge frostbite <clears throat> and I get one frostbite for every shard um let's do let's do this let's try the action build oh yes and spell weakness so we can do spell weakness, stack him on the top floor, and then just go to town from there. Whereas the frostbite, he'd probably be a bottom floor guy. One shard. I'm guessing, yeah, shards do not decay. So two shards. Four shards. I need to really load up on spells here. I have seven. We're up to nine. Well, I don't know. Maybe shard isn't the game plan here. The thing is with this frostbite, I can't really like, yes, I'm hitting stuff, but I'm not actually killing it. So when he executes, he's going to go and can't for action. Okay, so he'll keep doing actions. So that's where my damage comes from, is him executing actions every single time. I thought it was like... I don't know, I was misinterpreting action. It's every every single hit he'll do action. Mm, offering cards can be really nice. Memento hmm. Mori can nuke. Well, shit. With that, I can uh, I can put him in whatever lane I want. Let's go here. I'm passing on them. Oh, damn, that's what a tune does. So magic power makes this beefy as hell. Wow, all right. Um, Mento Mori. And we'll leave for now. Mutes on every floor. Um, yeah, I want the money. So, 
I mean, I should, well, I should keep him up here because of this. Do I need to have a tank here? Um, you are the closest thing I have to a tank. And now I can't use that. But I'm able to get the sap out. And that sap should make this a little more viable. I'm going to need something that like reduces the, uh, the cost of spells. Oh, you're giving him spikes. Combining that along with sap is pretty crazy. And there's my offering token. Um, you. I'll put you in front of him. Stealth would be a good... Uh, if I don't have a tank available, stealth is the next best thing. Um, though, let's go this way and try and get an actual tank. Neither of you are really tanks. You have some tank potential with encant. There's some good synergy there. Hold over. Ooh. Um, hold over on offering token can be potent. That way I'm always going to be able to cycle something. And with crit builder leveled up to 160, that'll be good. So we'll do that. I have a real solid nuke and crit builder now. Um, let's go Hellhorn. Um, I have no imps. Summon effects. Let's we'll just take it to spell. Spells are spells. I can do the armor and rage on my encant one. Very delicious. It's definitely weird. Like, there, it's... I don't know. It does damage, but I have... Piss-poor nuke at the moment. out real well. I didn't, I, just, I didn't even think about that. The random discard will trigger all my offering spells. I need to pick up offering like heavy. Though it should make for a pretty beefy lane in between the encant and the sap. And then since the top, the sap will, when they hit the top floor, um, the sap should work out pretty damn well. Because they're going to get up to the top floor all sapped and then anything I didn't kill will get destroyed by the pyre itself. He's doing what exactly? Three damage. Three by 13. So that's not bad. That's already... That's 39 damage. Um. Boom. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing here? Die. Um. Apply endless to a friendly. Uh, no, I'll go Siren Song. And then an actual frostbite tank. Uh, my floor size... No, if I'm... <clears throat> I gotta get that. Because if I'm gonna do large stone, I'll need one more uh, floor space. Um... Do 
going this way. All right, five damage per shard. I don't want revenge, so we're skipping cold channel again. Five per shard sounds sexy. I'm guessing the final upgrade is gonna be 10 per shard, which could be pretty nuts. Extra damage for 150 coins. Um, I'm gonna pass here. I'm still not confident in my, uh, my tank ability. I don't have a large stone yet. Which I feel like I need a large stone, to be honest. Um, I'll put you here with Stealthy. We'll have you start in canning. Also, the encamp procs in the discard as well. That's good. That's real good. Oh, man. I'm liking this a lot. You can basically build out... You can build out completely around... Uh, around, like, discards. damage isn't the highest. But the sap is helping. I just need to have more spells. I need way more spells and I need to amplify my draw power. Um... Wipe you... You're fucked. Especially with the uh, the spell weakness. As long as I have one of those, that's fat damage coming in. Um, I wouldn't mind this, but I think I'm gonna do an extra pyre bound. I feel like it's a little bit late for this. I need spells, but they're so expensive here. Um, I guess I'll, I'll do Subsuming Blade. I don't want another three cost, unless I have a way to reduce spell costs. Um, Hellbent. Now let's go here. I need to solidify my tank as a big boy. Perfect. There's the large stone. And then re-roll for big health boost. And then endless, so that just in case you get popped by some bullshit, uh, you're not screwed immediately. Mm. I'm already kind of tight on costs. No, I'll take that. It's, it's some healing. Yes. Ok, 
Okay. I got you out. I got you out. That's right, Pyrobound. What am I doing? Um, put that out. Shell spill. I mean, I got two Pyrobounds. Um, damn, I wish I could do something about him. I just focus on encanting up for now. Enjoy the sap, boys. Beautiful. There we go. All right, he is up front. Okay, now. I win. I feel like you could probably do a pretty sick frostbite build, like putting glacial seals behind it. Um, engulfed in smoke is pretty broken. Wanna know how to win the game instantly? Do this. GG. Game is over. Hey, I'm not kidding. That that comp what I just did there, a holdover freaking stealth is absolutely insane. the biggest boy or I could make you small boy which means I can now upgrade the encant and put her in the lane as well for a extra delicious top lane I just have to grab a warrior upgrade and then one of the next uh, next floors Okay, so we're putting you. We're gonna put Siren there. That doesn't actually move even if we use it, but I'll try it anyway. Just to get the. Well, I didn't say try it. Play it just to, to get the, the thing, the action. Oh shit, what do I want to put out first? Um, I want my tanky boy. Hmm, shit. I'll have to come back to Lodestone. I mean, I don't have a ton in this deck. I should be able to cycle back to him pretty fast. Um, plus, I got the stealth now, so we good. 10 damage. So, oh no, I probably did need stealth, to be honest. Only because I don't... Otherwise, they're getting ahead and touching the pyre. The sap is... 
The sap is what was stopping all of their shenanigans. Eighteen stacks. What a beautiful top lane. I have an encanter up there who's just getting beefy. And dealing damage. Oh, ha, he died because of the, the shit. That's funny. I didn't even notice the sweeper. Wait, he just died again. What is sweeping him? Would y'all stop with the sweeps, please? Help me with some... Wait, why are you dying? You have endless... Multi-strike. What is causing... Hang on. Oh, it's because everyone else on the floor has been perma-stealth. So the only thing that's getting hit is him. <laughs> oh, man. That stealth actually kind of conflicts with having the sentry there. Hmm. Oh, well. This thing's dead anyway. I'll have to put, um, it's kind of late for you. And I'm not doing you. Yes, you remove debuffs. Let's go draw power. So I might want to, what, what this is going to come down to is how much stealth I can get built up in time. Um, because whether or not I'm loaded on stealth will be the main deciding factor here. Um, what would I upgrade? I, mean, I could upgrade... No, oh, I wouldn't mind those, but let's go over this way. Merchant costs or... Ooh, X cards. I only have one X card. Let's do the merchant cheaper. Cheaper merchants is always nice. Uh, these are both consumed, so let's do trap shoot. Do, do I have a couple tomb units? Is it just the one? First turn. Let me. No, I think I pass. Titan channel phased. Wait, what is this? Deal five damage. Gain. If Soul Guard has four stacks of shard, remove phased. Five damage. Cannot attack, cannot be damaged or targeted in any way. So basically it lets you just put him out and guarantee he's going to survive a couple turns. Even if you don't have anything. No, we're, we're already going dire channel though. I mean, that's interesting. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd definitely be up for doing a build focused around that and see... How it works. All right. So, what is this? What are you enchanting? Grand multi strike. That's gross. I'll take that hit. I 
mean, with being able to rotate stealth, my, my lane is secured. Stairs. You do that. Oh, no. You do that. You play there. You come out here. I'm starting to think I should have done the first turn of battle if this thing happens. I mean, I have six stealth. I'm probably going to be fine. Let me put you out, and then I can put uh, the dregs I don't care about. I'll put them on the other floor. Damn, that hurt a lot. Um, a little bit late to the party here, don't you think? healthy amount of frostbite on him. I mean, he's dead no matter what, but just because for the lulls. Thank you for your money. Uh, more spell weakness. Yes. Spell weakness. Um, yes. One of those to help with my terrible energy management. And we are 100% going this way. I need that pyre health badly. Uh, permafrost. I think I'm gonna permafrost this so that I can, in particular, pop it at the uh, the same time that my like three coster comes up. Um. Holdover. Um, remove all debuffs. What would I want to hold over on? Yes. And you'll understand why in a second here. Titan's Claw, that would have been pretty nice. Um, I'll vent. Shit, I never got a silence. Um, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? Um, this is a consume a permafrost. Maybe one extra one of those. And I'll remove one of those guys and keep the other two. No, I'll just keep the one in for healing. I don't want that many. Alright, here we go. All or nothing. So my sap should be able to counter out his bullshit. Ooh, not there. There we go. But I need the sap to show up. This is not good. Sap showed up. 
do him. Um, oh, yes, that actually worked. Okay, we're good. We are looking really good. Uh, how many units? Zero so far. Okay. Um, you're supposed to be days longer than that. What the hell? Um... gonna instantly well if he's gonna kill my guy no matter what let me load him up on spell we oh no actually I win now not dead. Forgot that I have sap. It's funny. Uh, how about you guys just don't hit me? How about that? How about I don't like getting hit? And uh, also, how about you fuck off? 480 damage to the face. Alright, I have stabilized and I'm pretty sure I've won. Now that my top floor is super stealth, we are... Let me see. Oh, oh shit. I clicked the wrong. I thought it was a, a mass. Um, boom, boom, boom. Um, play that. Oh, did I move all your units and boot you in the face? What you get? That. Yes, I can remove the debuff. I figured that would happen, but I wasn't 100%. And now that I know it does, y'all are fucked. How many stacks of spell weakness do you have? Only two? Um, let's see. This, 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 this. Uh, remove that. Um, remove you, you, you. Okay. Um, let's see. Play this. Play this. Play. Oh no, hang on. Oh no, no. Don't do that. Play that, that. 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 And let's slow it down just so we can watch you get annihilated. 280 per pop. Boom, boom. Boom. Just 280 damage magical chest zaps. Pretty nice. I'm gonna be fair, this isn't Covenant 20 or 25, but these new champions got some serious potential. So I don't know. So far, I think, I think Awoken. Well, for all right, in terms of flavor, <clears throat> I think Hellhorn is really cool with the uh, the imp build, and this seemed pretty crazy. But I think I liked the uh, let me just rapidly apply quick on every unit you have build. That was pretty nuts. But either way, we got two more covenants to go. So stay tuned, and I'll catch y'all soon enough as we continue.